Good morning from Vienna, Austria. Today, I'm flying Austrian Airlines E195 Economy Class product to Geneva, Switzerland. After checking in and making it through security, I made my way to the F gate, specifically F-22. Pulling into the gate is my aircraft for this morning's flight. This Embraer E195 aircraft, registered Oscar Echo, Lima Whiskey Charlie, was delivered new to Lufthansa City Line in April of 2010 before moving on to Austrian in January of 2017. This aircraft was 12 years old at the time when I flew on it. Boarding commenced on time as I made my way to seat 18A. Let's take a look around the seat. Next to the built-in plastic seat slot, you will find a coat hanger hook. Below it, there is a large tray table and another pocket which allows for lots of storage. The legroom is quite good for a flight of this duration. On the armrest next to the window, you will find the seat recline button. One major problem with these seats is that there are no power outlets or even USB ports, something which you find on other airlines. Our pushback and taxi commenced on time. Here's our takeoff from runway 29 in Vienna. The views during our ascent and cruise were stunning, especially on a sunny day like this one. Despite the fact that Austrian is a full service airline, there was no food or drink service of any kind on this one and a half hour long flight. This is disappointing as most other European airlines, Lufthansa, Lot, and KLM among others, serve some sort of beverage and a sweet or sandwich of some kind on flights of this very same duration. There is no Wi-Fi on board either, but on a beautiful flight like this, it probably isn't needed. After enjoying these wonderful views for around an hour, our descent commenced into Geneva. Here's our landing into runway 04 at Geneva. Overall, I'd rate this flight 8 out of 10. While the seats were very comfy and the views incredible, there was no in-flight service, Wi-Fi, or power outlets of any kind. This is something that a competitor on this route, like Swiss, does offer. The cabin crew were very kind, informative, and genuinely appeared to enjoy their jobs. So good job to Austrian on that part. Anyways, that's all from me. Until next time, see ya.